Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I have to talk about Wall Street bets some more. It's just gotta happen. Things are absolutely insane. Wall Street bets is like the craziest thing that's ever happened. Here's the quick recap. A bunch of guys on a website, on a subreddit of Reddit, all got together and started to realize that if they organized and just bought a whole bunch of stock in one or two stocks, that they could really mess with hedge fund managers. <coughs> hedge fund, fund managers are betting against stocks. So if the stock goes down, the hedge fund profits, which makes them parasites. It's like the most absolute unproductive. It's one of these rules. It's like, why does this even, how, why can people do this? Why can people bet against other people's success? And so these hedge funds are betting against a, a video game seller called GameSpot, right? And the industry is like, oh yeah, these guys are going out the way that uh, uh, Blockbuster went out, right? They're just going to go out. So everybody's betting against it. And so a bunch of internet people on this website called Wall Street Bets got together and just started buying the stock and like raised the price of the stock to incredible levels. And they've revealed like total corruption and absolute rule breaking within the system because these hedge fund managers have taken out more bets than they can cover, right? So there's so many people on this site who are uh, uh, just going to make a ton, a ton, a ton of money. And these hedge fund guys are absolutely going to go bankrupt. Like these hedge fund guys, at the very least, they are totally, totally bankrupt. And the uh, what I'm seeing, right, is a total understanding from these guys uh, I love I love going just going on their site and talking about what I'm seeing. It's incredible. So they fully understand that the media is in lockstep with the stock market allied against them. I'm looking at a meme right now that's just like covered in all the media. Uh, it, it's a group of people, and each person has a media symbol on their forehead, and they're all saying at once, "The short sellers have closed their position," because the state that we're in right now, okay. It's the weekend, so the market is closed. The market operates in like a nine to five. Like it's that's the most boomer thing I've ever heard in my life. Like everything in my life has been 24-7 all the time. How can we keep everything open late and all the time? That's been my whole existence. And this idea that people should work a nine to five job is such a boomer thing. Anyway, so they've closed the stock markets for the weekend. So nobody can buy and sell stocks for two days. So this uh, channel and I highly advise you go to it. It's a friggin' riot. Wall Street bets is just like stewing in this in in this revelry and strategy and these ideas that they have in their head of what this should look like. They they are like just like a a group of indiv like minded individuals. Like it feels like I'm looking at the guys who wrote the original. Declaration of Independence. It's just a bunch of guys that got into a room and were like, these British. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and now you've just got these Wall Street bets guys being like, ha, hedge funds. No, 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 no. We don't think so. No, no, thank you. So here's, uh, and I'm just going to keep going down. Uh, uh, here, here, our favorite analyst, Dr. Parikh Patel. What happened this week explained in simple terms. If one monkey buys stock, stock stays still. If many monkeys buy stock, stock goes up. <laughs> Just like the uh, uh, our Wall Street bets is now the largest head fund in the world, except it's completely decentralized and entirely democratic. This gets 120,000 uh, upvotes. They bought a billboard in Times Square. They bought a they bought a they bought a billboard in Times Square to make fun of this. Uh, incredible, incredible stuff I'm seeing on this on this website. Uh, apparently, the German news is reporting on it accurately, as far as they're concerned. Um, the classic every hedge fund in the world now, and it's the it's the dog with the burning cup sipping and being like, "This is fine." <laughs> classic. You got to slip that in there. Uh, da, da, da. Elon Musk. These guys worship Elon Musk. Uh, it turns out that if you are uh, an, a, an apart uh, the son of an apartheid uh, emerald miner, you can uh, you can just do what you want apparently, and people will worship you for it. 
<laughs> Apparently. Uh, the, 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 and, and the strategies that come up and like the, the, the hold meme and the, oh, there was one I saw that was absolutely beautiful. It was incredibly beautiful. Here it is right here. The title is Welcome to the End Game, okay? And it's the Iron Giant saying bye-bye to his friend, but they've placed it so that, like some of these, uh, the meme is meaningless. If you know, you know. Some of these guys absolutely are just going to hold on to these shares. That's what the whole diamond, if you see a diamond and a hand, or right, a diamond and a fist, it's referring to diamond fist hold, and they're not going to sell. There, I have seen some stuff on this that convinces me beyond the shadow of a doubt that the intention of these guys is to not sell this stock, but to become the owners of this company uh, and holding the stock because they value the company and also having the twin objective of bankrupting these motherfuckers. They want to bankrupt these guys. They want these guys gone and out of the market forever if possible like they don't want any they want to like there there are people for sure there are people here and i think the people who are actually on wall street's bets who do this won't mind me saying it they're here for the money they don't give a crap about like this whole social like commentary kind of thing like whatever this is a great opportunity to make some money and that's what i'm here to do and you know what God bless you, buddy. God bless you, right? You you make your money. <laughs> our, <laughs> our objectives have aligned in this moment. <laughs> um, but there are definitely some people here who are here to as a moral objection against these hedge funds to absolutely take this place out, as well as maintain a business that is in America. Uh, that they remember from their youth and they remember it fondly from their youth. Um, why can't these GameSpot places become sweet kick-ass arcades? Do you guys remember sweet kick-ass arcades that were around? And GameSpot would put like one console in that was free to play, right? Like these places could become sweet kick-ass arcades. There's no reason they shouldn't be, right? There's no reason they shouldn't be. And like have cool stuff in there. I don't know why they wouldn't. Like... The fact that arcades do not exist anymore is the truest sign of decay in our society. Any reasonable, rational, futuristic, technology-based society would absolutely for sure have arcades. And the fact that arcades do not exist tells you everything you need to know about how the capitalist system does not work and is absolute nonsense. Because... Remember, guys, I am a communist, okay? If you're stumbling into this and you're just like, I mean, it's right there. I think capitalism is completely without merit. I think that we can get rid of it pretty safely. And all we're seeing on the stock market now is an unfolding war, right? And they have framed it as a war. They frame it as a war. The antagonism exists in the society, and here it is, completely observable, you can look at it on the day-to-day. -day. You can see how people are talking about it. You can see what people are liking and upvoting. Like, everything I've told you has thousands, thousands of votes. And what gets real interesting is when you pop over into Reddit at large, and there are people, like, here's, here's a tweet that got 120,000 upvotes, both on Twitter and on Reddit. And it comes from Guillotine Party, so we're all in agreement. If they give Wall Street money before they give us money, it's on, right? <laughs> this is a this is a prelude to civil war. This is a prelude to civil war, and it's worth stating and it's worth uh uh, uh stating bluntly uh because <laughs> I think the power structure should be able to respond. I think the power structure should know, and I think they're really out of touch. I think they read, like, the Wall Street Journal to get their information. Uh, meanwhile, there's guys uh, 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 putting up tweets that are getting 100,000 likes, <laughs> saying, like, let's start this thing off. Let's kick off. Let's go. 
<laughs> what happens if these guys that stormed the 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 capital these guys that stormed the capital right what happens if they ally with these guys right what happens if these two forces figure their shit out actually talk to one another and ran and run into each other right some real shit is going to go down so breaking this action up because it's pretty intense speaking of intense what do you think milo do you think things are intense oh oh <laughs> Milo agrees. Things are intense. <laughs> so, like, this is like a call to action and, a, and like a prelude to incredible things happening in the society. And it's all happening like right in front of our faces, but there's nobody. There's nobody on the world stage, really, that's doing what I'm doing, which straight up is looking at this and, and, and calling it for what it is. <laughs> just like, but look at the heart that's in all this. Look at the beauty that's in all this. The story, to me, the story really is about the guys who are going to hold this stock. The diamond hands. Those people are the people I want to know about. The Wall Street Journal is going to talk about the guy that discovered that this was possible. And the guy that sort of like led the movement towards it. Uh, uh, through his information, I, I I think that even he would say that leadership might be a bit of a strong term, but like he's definitely the guy who like uh, understood this earliest. Which uh, the Wall Street Journal interviewed this guy. I'm completely forgetting his name. Uh, even his handle isn't that awful. Isn't that awful? I'm a terrible reporter. It's like deep. No, I remember it's deep effing without the censorship value, right? Sorry about the censorship. I'm trying not to get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> and the... Uh, right? 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 Feel the anger. It's in the atmosphere. Even our, our, our sweet, delicious pugs. <laughs> um, this, this whole system needs to come down. Like this, why is there a place where people can have a war, a financial war, <laughs> that has the potential to lead to actual civil war? Why is the society not geared? And, and like this, this all flows into everything that I'm talking about on this channel 100% of the time. My number one point, my number one point is that the shares that exist like these shares that people are buying on the stock market through the wall street bets the shares that exist should belong to the people doing the work and no one else no one else the people who own the sh own the labor who do the work in these places should own the shares and they shouldn't be allowed to sell them to outside sources and they shouldn't be allowed to uh, 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 like eliminate the shares of themselves in somehow, right? They're doing the work. They get the shares that they become the shareholders and the capitalist class is eliminated at, with the stock market. Like the stock market can just go like the stock market can exist as a way to just be like, well, this is about how valuable this thing is to the, to the larger society. But you can't, like, shuffle things around like this. It's absolutely asinine. A person's labor is his value, right? The work he does is his value. And he should get as many shares as he puts labor in to an enterprise. And those shares should be what he uses to vote in a shareholder meeting that he is at and participating in. And some person who does no work, does not participate in the business, could, couldn't could find the business on a map uh, uh, if he was asked, right? Should have absolutely no say and be not involved at all, right? Because what these guys are proving at the Wall Street Bets, what they are showing everybody without a shadow of a doubt is that 
things exist because people want them to exist. Uh, and if people had more money, more things would exist. More businesses would exist. Uh, uh, if this is just like a handful, like two million, what, six million? What, what is the, the subscriber on this? But this, this is going to be kind of a faulty number because there's so many more subscribers now, right? There's seven million subscribers now. But I suspect that this is probably like two million people, three maybe three million people who 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 might be actively involved in this, and maybe even less than that. The highest upvote I've ever seen is a hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand, right? Uh, uh, but I mean, if you extrapolate that out and you did the math, uh, how about one of you Wall Street bets guys tell me? How about that? How about one of you Wall Street bet guys tell me? What, uh, I'm completely on your side. Diamond Hand is is the meme of the decade, without a doubt. And anyone who says otherwise is a total fool. Diamond Hand is the meme of the decade. Celebrities will use it the same way that Katniss used those three fingers, dude. Absolutely. Uh, the Diamond Hand thing will 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 live in eternity and forever as the symbol of this moment in time. And it is incredibly cool. It's incredibly cool. The amount of social influence this is having, the amount of stuff, people are like literally waking up to like, wait, what's the stock market? What is the stock market? And just like, when I explain what the stock market is, they walk away being like, this is the basis of our society. <laughs> like this is, this is how we have structured ourselves. We've just let a bunch of rich guys just orient themselves on a market in order to make decisions while they impoverish us. And the only way that we can actually fight back is if we organize in the millions. If we organize in the millions, we can compete with five men. Yeah. If we organize in the millions, we can compete on one or two or three stock prices with five men. This is a rational system. <laughs> we need to transfer these shares to the workers. The shares need to exist to the people doing the work. And the people doing no work need to be expunged from the society. That's how you get rid of your hedge fund managers permanently. That's how you eliminate that entire class Right? That's how you make an entire class that you despise and hate and that everyone despises and hates totally disappear forever. Right? Uh, uh, the workers own the shares. They don't sell it to other people. They own the shares. They are the stockholders. Uh, you, you can't pull a short on that. Right? You can't, you can't pull some kind of weird gimmick on that. Right? I own the share. This is what it's for. And I'm not going to sell it to somebody because then I become their slave. Why would I do that? Like, it's absolutely asinine. More. Because the conversation's fairly heavy about enslavement and how we're all wage slaves. You get to see my low pants while he tries to fight me for his bone. Fight me for his bone. For his bone. Bone, bone, bone. Ah! Angry bone. <laughs> he's a psycho, this little guy, dude. No, he's super lovable and lovable. He's just playing. He's just playing and he loves to play. <laughs> oh, I know. I know, buddy. <sighs> The, ram the ramifications of this moment in time cannot be overstated, okay? Like, at the very least, this moment has introduced, like, an entire generation of people to the idea that the stock market is something that they can interact with. I do think that it is insane that it has taken, like, millions of people to come together to create this moment. Um, but the 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 chaos of it all the chaos that's ensuing the absolute ridiculous insanity of all of this and the fact that it could come to a political head uh, head 
they've bailed Wall Street out before. And what I love about this movement more than anything, right? What I love about this movement more than anything is that they do connect to the 2008 financial cr crash in a like, in their heart, they feel it. That the 2008 financial crash, crash was a complete and total injustice. They look at the 2008 financial cr crash and are just like, you guys should have been wiped out because of that. And instead, you're still there doing the same bullshit to the stuff we love, right? And they're deeply connected to the Occupy Wall Street movement. They've they've got these, like, they, they will put videos of when people were at the Occupy Wall Street movement. And they will be like, look at how they're laughing at us. And there's these Wall Street execs in their buildings looking down laughing. And, and they're saying people didn't care when we showed up in person, right? But now we've actually occupied Wall Street. We took money and we all collectively bought a single share, spiked the price, and totally screwed over these hedge fund guys. And we're holding their shares hostage. And guess what? Enough of us are going to hold on to these things so that we will own these shares. And when this is all over, these hedge fund guys will be out. They will be bankrupt and they will be gone and they won't come back. It's a beautiful movement. It's a beautiful movement. I'm completely rooting for them. I'm completely rooting for them. So here's the thing, right? The market opens on Monday. The market opens on Monday. So what's happened between now and then, right? Hedge fund guys still get to trade behind the scenes. They still get to do closed door trades, right? Amidst this. And so what the market did is it is it uh, uh, did some market manipulation itself in order to lower the price of games uh, games stop, but they've done this uh, uh, arbit not arbitrarily, but just it's it's artificial. That's the word. It's an artificial lowering so that these Wall Street guys can do some trades behind the scenes and maybe salvage their asses. But I don't think there's anything they can do. Who's going to buy into this nonsense, right? Who's going to look into this nonsense and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. That seems like a risk that I'm willing to take. <laughs> so a lot of these guys are very, very confident that when Monday rolls around, this stock price is going to spike to the moon. Right now it's sitting at, what, 350 a share? 350 a share. And there are guys who are just like, if it spikes to 1,000, people are going to get tattoos of the diamond fist. They're going to get tattoos of the diamond fist, right? That's, that's some legitimate real shit right there, right? Like people's lives are going to get changed here. It's going to be incredible moment in time. And it's, and it is a total shifting of the demographics of what America even looks like, right? And it's so chaotic and it's so ridiculous and it shouldn't look this way at all, but it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like the Wild West, where just like, if you can cobble together a large enough coalition of people to buy a single stock, you can punch back. You can punch back. That's incredible. This stock market stuff, I hope they bring the whole thing down. I hope that I've, I've seen a couple of things that have been like, yeah, we could, we, maybe it'll happen. Like, uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And I think the government is going to do it guys. I legit do. I think the government is going to bail out the stock market before they bail out the populace in the middle of a pandemic. Right. This crisis is revealing, uh, more than anything, the complete unrepentant, unforgivable, un, uh, uh, unreformable unreformable nature of capitalism that capitalism is a demon that in order to survive and thrive in you literally have to fight what <laughs> why <laughs> why why are we fighting amongst ourselves in order to get base survival or just modest gains and why is it that the only way a person can get ahead is by gambling everything in a casino that's rigged so that the house always wins? And one time, one time, a group of guys get in and they figure out how to rig it for themselves. And now we're all 
standing here being like, is the house going to cheat even by their own rules? That's the question right now. That's the question right now. They've already done it in small scale ways. They've already done ridiculous things. They've like eliminated a hundred thousand, uh, one like reviews on, uh, for Robin hood, which is the app everybody was trading with. Right. Because Robin hood has completely betrayed them. Anyway, guys, I, I got to close this one down. I am running out of time. Uh, uh, here, here another pug, pug break, another pug break, pug, 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 pug. Pug, 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 he's a cute little guy who's got anger issues just like me. Okay. <laughs> um, God bless you guys. Keep fighting that good fight. Keep hit, hit, hitting people. Get, keep, keep, keep doing it. Keep getting these capitalists and ripping them, ripping them apart. Uh, diamond hand. Diamond hand. Diamond hand. Right? Get a diamond tattooed like right here. Like right here. Right, I can't do it. I can't do it because I can't show both my hands. Right on, like, right on, right on your palm or your fist, fist, fit around here. Diamond, put a diamond right there. <laughs> um, insane, guys, insane. If you've made it to the end of this particular video, okay, uh, please, 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 for the love of God, uh, at least hit the like button. Okay, that helps the algorithm, so I send it around. Hit the share button. Share it to other people. Please, God, please uh, uh, share it to other people. Uh, uh, I, I am reporting on this every single day, you guys. This is the story of the century, without a doubt. And I'm I'm yet to find a source who's doing it the way I'm doing it, which is like literally looking at this place and then analyzing it for what it is, which is a bunch of beautiful, crazy, insane people who are doing something absolutely glorious and rocketing to the moon, rocketing to the moon. God bless these guys. God bless these guys. This, the, if somebody doesn't make, if Judd Apatow, yeah, if Judd Apatow, Brad Pitt, and Steve Carell, that whole crew, if they don't make the movie about this, then I think that movie is bullshit. <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Those are the guys. They're already writing this script if they have a brain in their fucking head. And they do. And they do. Okay. Uh, uh, I told you to subscribe. I told you to like. I, 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 oh, give me money. I, a bunch of you guys just made a shit ton of money, didn't you? A bunch of you guys are just making a crazy ton of money. I've got a Patreon down below. I love you guys. Give me some of that money. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Don't you want a communist on your side? Uh, I love you all, okay, guys? Here's another shot of my little beautiful dog. Good luck out there, guys. We're going to need it.